so here I have opened a example from a channel called TSG physics note that I don't own this video I'm just using it as reference for educational purpose and demonstration because you know I don't have this equipment to show you a demonstration so I will just play a short section of this video from TSG physics channel well uh, let's see what happens so he is going to drop a magnet in his hand through this copper pipe which is clamped on a table so i'll click on play you see that it's it, it takes some time to fall through the pipe and so i'll just show you what is actually going on so at first he have a copper pipe and a normal iron ball which is not a magnet so you see that it directly falls in his hand which is like 0.02 seconds now he takes a magnet in spherical in size and it drops through the copper pipe now due to the lens law it takes four second approximately four seconds um, to drop through it well in this video he does not show um, the calculation and the values of the magnet or copper pipe he used but for approximation uh, i'll just assume that this is around 20 centimeter okay so this pipe length is around 20 centimeter and this will be around maybe three centimeter or something and we will try to replicate this experiment in console so let's see if we can do it hello and welcome back so as you saw in the clip or the experiment uh, so we have modified our model to some extent so here are a few of the parameter changes that i made and in the parameter i have changed the inner circle radius to 10.3 mm outer to 30 and I have changed the height of the cylinder to 20 centimeter because in the um, experiment it uh, looks like uh, it's close to 20 okay and in the magnet here I have used a magnetic material where the reminiscent flux density is 1.05 which is a typical value for um, a magnet uh, from the internet I saw the value so this is how i set up the experiment and after that i use the same study settings i did not change anything and i clicked on compute so before we jump into the simulation results let us look at the experimental demonstration we looked before so we already saw that the time taken for the magnet to fall was four seconds and the distance traveled is around 20 centimeter that is the length of the tube now if you calculate the velocity, it is around 0.05 meter per second. Well, this value is the experimental value of the average velocity. Now, in the simulation, we will try to compare the results from this experiment. So, without wasting a time, let's jump into console and see what are the results we are getting. So this is the current density of copper and here we can see the magnet and this is the velocity profile. Now if you see the velocity is saturating close to 0.05, it is the same velocity uh, that we expected, the average velocity that we expected from the demonstrated uh, experiment. So this is how I tried to create the magnet falling through a copper pipe and then uh, try to compare the results from the experimental demonstration. Well, I have a detailed video and a course about this topic. Uh, if you want to follow the course, you can check the link in the description. And as always, you can subscribe to my channel to see similar research and productive videos. Thanks for watching and take care.